repair Windows OS using dism and sfc commands. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use dism and sfc commands to check and repair the integrity of system files and component store of your Windows operating system. These commands would be extremely useful when your Windows operating system is not booting up or errors shows up when you try to run any apps or services, let's say after a virus infection or some sort of corruption in your operating system. In this video, we look at these commands to repair Windows system files on both desktop and server operating systems of Windows. SFC scan now, dism online cleanup image restore health and repair windows image online restore health. All these commands are available in almost all versions of windows. The first command is sfc scan now which scans protected system files and if they are missing or corrupted it tries to restore the original copy of the files from the windows component store which is C drive windows win sxs folder. This folder contains a good copy of windows system files which can be used for recovery and repair purpose. So I'm on my windows 11 box and I will open up command prompt. All commands related to sfc and dism must be run from an elevated command prompt otherwise it will fail. I will run the command sfc space forward slash scan now and press enter. This command will now check the integrity of my system files on my windows 11. It is going to take some time for this command to complete. So I'm going to speed up this video and come back when it is done. You can see it has completed. It cannot see any errors because I have no issues on this windows 11 box. But running sfc scan now command will create log entries in the cbs.log file which is located in the c drive windows logs cbs folder. All log entries related to sfc are in here and they are tagged with sr. Checking the cbs log would be helpful to find out any errors related to sfc. Now if you want to look at only sfc related entries from the log then you can go back to command prompt and run the command find str c drive sr in windows directory logs folder cbs folder cbs.log and you can then output the content to another text file by typing user profile desktop and the file name where we are going to dump the sfc related entries is sfc.txt. So if I open the sfc.txt file, I can see all the log entries related to sfc. If in case sfc scan now command returns the error windows resource protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix some of them like the one that you see here, it is likely that the sfc command could not get necessary files from the windows component store to fix corrupt system files. In this case, you can try to repair the component store of your windows image using the dism command. And after repairing the component store of your windows image, you can run the sfc scan now command to find and fix any corrupt or missing system files. If you are wondering what is the abbreviation of sfc and dism, sfc is system file checker and dism is deployment image servicing and management. Now first I'm going to check the health of windows component store on my windows 11 box by running the command dism online cleanup image check health. I will press enter on this command and this command scans the health of windows component store for any corruption. This command will not perform a full scan of the windows component store but it will only check if the windows image is flagged as corrupted and checks if it is possible to fix. So no changes are made to the windows image by this command. You can see in my case it says no component store corruption detected and the operation completed successfully. But you can run a full scan of windows component store health 
To do that, run the command dism online cleanup image scan health. Now this command will take some time to complete and it can return one of the three outputs. It can say no component store corruption detected, which means dism did not find any errors in the Windows component store. Or it can say the component store is repairable, which means dism sees errors in Windows component store and dism can fix those errors. Or else it can say the component store is not repairable, which is self-explanatory and you might need to restore your windows using a backup or reset or reinstall. But sometimes if you use a newer version of dism command, it may find some errors and you can fix them as well. So as recommended, you need to use the newest version of dism when trying to run these type of repair tasks. The switch scan health will not work if the update KB2966583 is not installed let's say on Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 or 2008R2. It will simply throw up an error which says error 87. The scan health option is not recognized in this context. If in case this command returns these dism errors 1726, the remote procedure call failed or dism error 1910, the object exporter specified was not found, then the windows image is definitely corrupted and needs to be repaired. Now to fix the corruption in the windows image component store, you must use restore health switch of the dism command. This option will allow you to fix errors found in the Windows image. Also, automatically download and replace damaged or missing files with original versions of files from Windows Update for which your computer must have direct internet access. So, run the command dism online cleanup image restore health. But if you are running this on Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008 R2, the command would be dism online cleanup image scan health. Again, this command would take a long time to scan and repair the Windows component store. So dism would automatically download and replace the corrupted or missing files from Windows update servers. If the repair is successful, then it would say the restore operation completed successfully. While running the dism restore health command, if your computer does not have direct internet access or even proxy internet access or use an internal WSYS server of your organization to download the required source files to repair the Windows component store, then you might see some of these error messages. 0x800f0906. This means that the source files could not be downloaded. 0x800f0950, which means the dism operation failed. 0x800f081f, this means that the source file could not be found. Now for these errors, you need to use alternative ways to get the source files for Windows Component Store. These source files can be located on a Windows installation disk such as USB flash drive or an ISO image. It can also be on a mounted Windows image file, WIM file, which is typically named as install.wim. Sources SXS folder can also be used from the installation disk. But to repair the corrupted files in the Windows component store from the local source, the Windows build and addition in the Vim image must match your system's build and addition of Windows operating system. So if you want to check which version of Windows is installed on your computer, you can run the following PowerShell command get computer info, select Windows product name, Windows edition ID, Windows version, OS display version. You can see it says Windows 10 Pro for me, but it is not. If I show it from the GUI, you can see it is running Windows 11 Pro. So it must be some kind of cosmetic bug with this command, but you need to make a note of Windows version and OS display version here. And I've also mounted a latest Windows 11 ISO image to D drive. 
So to list the available windows edition in the install.vim image, I will run the command get windows image image path d drive sources install.vim. In our case, you can see the Windows 11 Pro image is in the install.vim file has image index which is 6. To repair the Windows component store from a local Vim Windows image source that is without using Windows update via internet or an internal WSYS server, I will run the command dism online cleanup image restore health source Vim D drive sources install.vim colon 6 and limit access. Remember to specify the Windows version index in the image file. In our case, it is 6. Now, these are the two common errors that can occur with DISM Restore Health switch error 50 and error 87. Error 50 DISM does not support servicing Windows PE with the online option can occur if the DISM think that you are using a Windows PE image. To fix this, you simply need to remove the registry key, H key, local machine, system, current control set, control, mini NT. Error 87 can occur if you have not typed the DISM command correctly. It can also occur if you are not using the correct version of DISM. So you need to make sure that you have typed the command correctly and using the correct version of DISM. And you can find the DISM log of scanning and repairing of the system files in the same cbs.log which is found in C drive windows logs cbs.log. After the windows component store has been repaired, you can now run the system file checker tool sfc scan now and if there are any corrupt or missing files, it can either restore them with a good copy of the files and it will show the message which will say Windows resource protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Or if the SFC tool cannot detect any corruption or missing files, then it will show the message Windows resource protection did not find any integrity violations. The PowerShell in Windows 10 or Windows 11 and also Windows Server 2016, 2019, 2022 as a commandlet similar to the DISM commands. The command repair windows image online scan health scans the windows component store checks for any corruption. If no errors are found in the windows component store then it will say image health state is healthy. But if any errors found, then you can run the command repair windows image online restore health to repair windows component store files. Again, if you don't have direct internet access, this command may hung during the image repairing process. So you can restore the system components from a local windows image file install.vim copied from the windows installation ISO image. So you need to specify the Windows version index in the Vim file as the recovery source. As I showed you earlier, you need to use the same command which is get Windows image image path D drive sources install.vim to find the image index. In my case, the image index for Windows 11 Pro is 6. So I'm going to run the command repair Windows image online restore health source D drive sources install.vim colon 6 limit access. Now DISM commands can also be used against an offline Windows image or if your Windows does not boot correctly. You can use the DISM to check and repair system files of your Windows operating system. But before running this command, I would suggest to uninstall any latest patches if installed because they sometimes can make your windows not bootable. So if your windows is not booting up and if you would like to run dism commands against your windows, the first thing you need to do is boot up your windows with windows installation image using a USB disk. For example, if you are running windows 11 on your computer which is not booting up, it is recommended to use a latest version of windows 11 ISO image create a bootable disk and make a bootable image to boot your computer with it. 
After booting the computer with a USB bootable disk at Windows Setup screen, press Shift plus F10 to open the command prompt. Now first verify your Windows drive. This would typically be C drive. If you go into C drive, you can see the Windows folder unless you have installed Windows on D drive or on any one of the other drives. In my case, Windows is installed in C drive and you can see the Windows folder in here. Sometimes when you boot into a recovery environment like this, C drive can show up as D drive. Just be mindful about that. Next, I will go into the RAM drive, which would be typically X drive. This is the drive which contains the recovery environment image. In X drive, I will go into sources folder and I will type SFC scan now off boot directory equals C drive off windows directory equals C drive windows to see if there are any system files that are corrupted and needs to be repaired. But if you would like to repair an offline windows image, run the command dism image C drive cleanup image restore health source D drive sources install.vim where install.vim is the installation image of Windows 11 from which the computer is booted up as a source to restore the offline Windows image. If you get an error message that says not enough free space on the target disk, use a separate drive, for example, E drive on which you need to create an empty folder by running the command mk directory E drive scratch. After that, perform a repair of Windows component store using the scratch directory with the command dism image c drive cleanup image restore health source d drive sources install.vim scratch directory e drive scratch folder. And again, this will take some time to run. So this is how you repair Windows OS using dism and sfc commands. Hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.